Hey there, Facebook Prototype Army. How you guys doing? Ken Rossman here again, here to answer questions from you guys. So let's get started. So Chris asks, can you show us Heller's armor? Well, Chris, I can do you one better. If you look at the screenshot right here, you can actually see Heller's new shield power. And what's interesting here is that Heller's shield power actually allows him to not only take damage, but it actually allows him to deflect uh, oncoming damage. So uh, an incoming missile, uh, Heller will actually be able to take out a shield and deflect it back at the guy who shot the missile at him, or actually deflect it to somebody else. So not only is your, your armor power, your shield power, a defensive power, it's also an, an offensive power. So really excited to show you guys that one. So Nico asks, will the bosses be as frustrating as they were in Prototype 1, and will they still have backup from annoying minions? Well, Nico, I'm glad you asked. So I can tell you, no, they won't. Uh, we absolutely appreciate the constructive feedback that we've gotten from you guys, the press, our fans. Uh, we had, like I said, we've, we've taken all of that feedback uh, in and really working hard to make sure that those frustrating situations that appeared in Prototype 1 won't happen again. Uh, boss fights will be very fair, fair and balanced. Uh, you'll have a lot more uh, tactics and strategies to utilize in those boss battles, really making them much more fun and engaging and uh, a much more equal uh, playing field. So really excited for you guys to see that coming up later. Uh, so Yahil, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, asks, is there more environmental variety? Can I go and have a cheeseburger before I have a killing rampage of death and destruction? Uh, is the disguise system more touched upon, such as allowing different disguises to have different effects on your environment? How is the story going to be told? Glad you asked. So, actually there is. Um, you're actually, your disguises and the actual awareness system have been completely uh, touched upon and improved. I'm really excited about this. Um, you'll actually, guys, will find out later on uh, as we release some more footage. Uh, for, for example, you... Uh, consume a Black Watch commander or, or soldier and you actually shapeshift into the Black Watch uh, disguise, you'll actually find that the population of NYZ is actually fearful of you. They'll actually back away from you. Um, you'll need these things to hijack in, and break into the Black Net uh, secure network. Uh, you'll either have to be a Gentech scientist or a Black Watch soldier. So again, uh, your disguise is incredibly critical to your success through the game. Um, we think, you know, to the benefit of, not to the frustration of. Uh, and again, it all you'll see people reacting to you, you'll be able to go different places, we've got constructs that, that you'll have to be in disguise to get to certain places. So again, really excited about this. Uh, and these things will help drive the narrative and the story. You'll have to be doing different things at different times. Uh, as for the cheeseburger, so I don't know about the cheeseburger. There is a hot dog stand, but nobody's working, so... Anyways, thanks. All right. So Darren asks, are there any new features in the game that you, haven't meant, that you can mention that you haven't mentioned before? Well, Darren, I'm glad you asked. I can hint and tease about a new feature uh, that you guys will actually find out more about. It's actually going to see it in our brand new CGI Part 2 trailer next week. Uh, it's being revealed at New York Comic Con. So uh, I won't give you too many details, but I will say it involves uh, Heller's special abilities with the infection and some of the things that are created by the infection. So again, I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. I think you're going to be really, uh, you're going to be fascinated with what you can do with it. And uh, we'll leave it at that. There you go. Yonatan, hopefully I've pronounced your name correctly. Apologize in advance if I didn't. Uh, will there be some way to play as Alex Mercer? Come on, we all want it. We hear you. Uh, we hear you guys constantly. We know this is one of the number one questions you guys ask about all the time on Facebook. Um, we can honestly tell you, Alex Mercer plays a very important role in Prototype 2. He's a critical piece to the storyline. He is a critical piece to what you're going to experience. Um, right now, all we're ready to really talk about is Heller. Uh, there's nothing we can reveal at this time. Um, but, you know, again, we hear you. We're listening. So thanks. All right, so Pratik asks, do you have dual wielding in Prototype 2, and if so, how does it work? I'm glad you asked, because we do, or at least a similar, or a version of it. Uh, so actually what we do have is the ability to have two powers mapped to two face buttons all of the time. 
Uh, really excited about this because it really means that you can have a lot of different combinations. You can actually have your claw powers on one face button and your tendril power on another face button and you can actually smoothly transition from a nice claw swipe taking out the guy to a tendril punch uh, and just really do a lot of devastating power and it's just you're really excited what you can do with this. Being able to combine your hammer fist and your blade, I mean it's going to be a lot of fun. So yep, dual wielding's in there. We're really excited with the implementation and we're excited to let you guys see it as soon as we can. All right, Jared, Jared, you've been with us from the beginning. We love you, man. Uh, so Jared asks, Ken, if you had to choose between a glass of sangria and having hellish powers in real life, which would you choose? Sangria! Uh, <laughs> well, you know, this is a tough question, right? Because I love my sangria. Um, but if I had the powers, I could get my sangria whenever I wanted. Mm, sangria now, sangria whenever I want. Mm. Uh, both! <laughs> Anyways, thanks, Jared. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right. So Brian asks, uh, will the story be more dramatic and focused on the main character, Heller? Yes, they will. Uh, yes, both will, actually. Uh, we're really working towards a, a simple, epic story well told. Uh, we want to keep it, you know, we want that main storyline to be really clear. Uh, something you guys can really get behind while still keeping that, that sub-narrative that really is that conspiracy that you all enjoyed from the first game. Uh, but really that top level story, just simple, epic, well told. And, and with a character that you can really empathize with and that you really want to be, you want to play and you want to know more about his story. So I believe we're on track for that. You guys will be excited when you get there. All right, so Stephanie asks, while planning, how long do characters stay in development? That's a really good question. And, it's, and there's no one answer, Stephanie. Um, honestly, characters take time. Uh, Alex Mercer from Prototype 1 took well over a year. Uh, we really, you know, uh, finding that balance of is he this or is he that. Uh, with Heller, we started out with a little more clarity on what we wanted to achieve, so, so he was easier. Uh, but he still took a fair amount of time. Uh, you know, we started with, with a, this idea of dream casting and really, you know, what were the characteristics about, the, of, about Heller that we really wanted to make sure were communicated both in his visuals and his style and his swagger and his way he talks. Uh, but they can take anywhere from, you know, nine months to a year and a half, roughly in there. Good question. Thanks. Uh, let's see, Ignatius, I'm um, hopefully said your name correctly. Uh, will there be a more effective dodge evade system like standing dash, for instance? Wow, that's a really great question, and it couldn't be more well timed. I uh, believe by the time you guys are going to see this, you'll have already seen the video, The Art of Combat, uh, and you'll actually see the answer to this question. We're really excited about this, really improving Heller's uh, strategic and tactical abilities on the battlefield, and absolutely, you know, dodging, evading, uh, getting out of the way, being able to have more control over the pace of combat. Uh, and, the, and the situation to do some, some uh, uh, better attacks and, and put yourself in a strategic position uh, is actually something really powerful and really excited. And again, you'll see a lot of that in this video, but more of that to come. Thanks very much. All right, guys. So thank you guys again. Uh, you know, we're really excited about the level of commitment and excitement you all have for this product uh, and for what we're doing at Radical. Uh, you know, keep the questions coming. We're always listening. You know, we're always there to talk to you guys and engage with you guys. Uh, and if you're going to be at New York Comic Con, we're excited to see you there. And uh, got some cool stuff for you guys. Thank you.